The tiny Republic of San Marino has voted overwhelmingly in favour of legalising abortion. The government is now being urged to change the existing law, which dates back to 1865. The result came as a surprise in the state where 90% of the population is Roman Catholic, as Georgia Alandi reports. It's a breath of fresh air for those women who've been forced to have an abortion in secret for the past 20 years, mostly outside the small enclave. The outcome has come as a surprise in the Catholic nation. After years of attempts to change the law, the news is a relief for the 3,000 people who signed a petition to call a popular referendum. Winning by over 70 percent is an extraordinary result. We've managed to unite people with different backgrounds within our union. There are women who are members of both centre-right and centre-left parties, women who are Catholic and who are atheist. Thanks to the union, we've created a strong belief around the yes vote that has allowed us to reach such an historic result. Now the ball is in the government's court. It's been urged to propose a new law after this referendum result. San Marino has a clear idea about it. The whole issue goes beyond politics and political parties. It's something that has to do with people's private lives and their own experiences. This will contribute and will help us elaborate a new law that will keep us busy in the next six months. We put the question to voters on the streets of San Marino. We asked mainly younger women, those who contributed the most in the referendum, why they believe it's about time for a change. It's absolutely necessary because in their country women have to be protected in case they decide to terminate a pregnancy. The fact that San Marino hasn't got a law is a very bad sign. I live in Italy, but I am from San Marino, so I am part of the group of voters who live abroad. People like myself have had the chance to experience how things work in other places and notice that people are entitled to all the rights that are necessary to protect each age group and all genders. It's a significant wake-up call for San Marino to come out of the Middle Ages. Women have to have babies. I'm not going to add anything else. So are you against it? Yes, I am against it. Why? The reporter asks. They can do what they want, but families have less kids today than they used to in the past. San Marino was one of the few remaining countries in Europe where abortion was illegal. The debate over the issue is far from being over in Europe. In nearby Italy, a Catholic country, the legalization of abortion is the result of a long battle that has been fought for years and that is not yet over. Only a few months ago, Italy has approved outpatient use for the abortion pill. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews in San Marino.